Rifle shield deployed. Get behind me. What's up, guys? It's Shield Bros here. Back at you with another video. All right, guys. So for our next installment of our vertical videos, we are going to the frozen Russian wasteland of Cafe Dostoyevsky, also just known as Cafe. All right, and like always, I will be going over each of the four bomb sites individually. The first bomb site up is the kitchen bomb sites. All right, and our first location in this bomb site is going to be this little pocket area. Uh, you often see somebody hiding behind. It's back here in the sinks over on the B bomb. Um, a lot of times they'll be holding this, especially late game. They'll be holding it with an ACOG towards double doors. Um, so this is a pretty common spot for an Echo to be hiding out in, uh, especially with a deployable shield uh, placed in front of him so that he can get a little bit more coverage facing this door. Additionally, you can swing wide on A bomb or look through the prep double window. If they break open the breach onto a bomb uh, from bakery, you can also get a easy line through the, your door onto that uh, breach. So it's a pretty strong defensive position for the uh, defenders. In order to get rid of it, all you need to do come upstairs to the uh, train museum, break the wall next to fireplace, looking into dining. The ground right below that wall in dining is right above the little pocket area. Uh, I prefer to do it this way because if you break that wall. You can get a bead all the way back into freezer as well. So this makes this uh, a particularly strong angle in my opinion because anyone who tries to rotate through that window will also be in your crosshairs. All right, so the next anchor position I've got here is behind the bomb uh, by the freezer doorway. As you can see, you can hold either the prep room window the door next to the A bomb or double door uh, onto the B bomb. If you have a deployable shield and put it right next to the bomb, you can also hold uh, with a greater security all the way back into prep room. Uh, this position is pretty common because you can rotate through freezer through the double window and then uh, get new angles into both A bomb and double door. Uh, so just like the last anchor position, you'll want to come up into a train museum and break the left wall of fireplace uh, and then break the floor right below it. The purpose of breaking these walls is you can get so you can get angles towards the east side of the uh, map. Without breaking the walls, you actually can't achieve these angles. As you can see, you can reach all the way back behind the bomb, uh, so where somebody's head would be poking out. And if you break the floor right below the door right here, you can get, actually get an angle into freezer. And if you break slightly left, you can get an angle uh, from above the freezer, kind of, looking through the uh, door between the two bomb sites, uh, which is actually pretty powerful. The reason this bomb, this particular location is better than the, that p location I just pinged um, is because you can, you can get this rotate uh, while also getting a freezer. Uh, while you're probably up here, you're, if you're using buck or sledge, you're going to break up most of the floor to get uh, lines of sight, but if you have breaching charges, I would put one uh, right here on the left side of the door in order to get freezer and the uh, rotate hole broken open. All right, so the next anchor position I will be talking about is this little pocket area in uh, service behind all of these metal counters. It's a pretty powerful position due to the fact that the roof above you is made out of entirely concrete. Uh, so you can't actually play vertically here. Uh, but I do have a trick in order to help you get rid of this anchor who's going to be holding lines of sight through kitchen prep window. If they have a shotgun, they're going to be holding this door and you will not get in. That shotgun will beat you almost, will beat you nine times out of ten. So in order to get rid of them, you're going to need to bring frag grenades. Uh, it's the easiest way and you're going to need to flush out whatever ADS they have or while my uh, deployable, their little frisbee discs uh, to help keep them safe. What you'll get need to do is cook a grenade and aim for this little hole. Bounce it through off that little beam right there, and you'll explode the grenade right into any anchor's face who's sitting right here. I feel a little bit deeper in, you might need to use two grenades actually to get, get the kill. Uh, but you have to be standing on top of bar in order to do it, because otherwise you can't get the correct angle in order to bounce your grenade. All right, so the only anchor position over in the A bomb site is usually behind these uh, kitchen counters right here. Uh, you can hold both prep room door, window, and the inevitable uh, breach that will happen through bakery wall right there. Um, the only way to really get rid of this position from the first floor is if you take the wall to the right side and actually manage to put a breach in it, this one right here. Um, that's the only way to really get rid of this position from the first floor. Additionally, this is pretty powerful because if this wall right there is barricaded and a hole is rotated open right here, you can hold double door going into B bomb site as well. Um, so that makes this a pretty uh, popular anchor position to be held, uh, especially early in the game or once that breach hole is broken open. So to get rid of it, just come upstairs and go into uh, 
mining and trade museum. This floor right here, the follow the marble side all the way through across into train museum, just breaking the floor apart along it, and you'll be able to get rid of the anchor position from above, easy peasy. All right, so the next bomb site up is the cocktail bar bomb site on the third floor. All right, so the most typical anchor position to be held up here in the bar cocktail is going to be behind this wall, this reinforced wall right here with a rotate hole on your right. Uh, if you haven't been in Mira, there's Odds are there's going to be a mirror window placed on this particular wall. Um, and if she is banned, there will be probably a Meister hiding behind this wall. Uh, it's really powerful anchor position because you can look out over bar and you can also hold cocktail, um, which makes it one of the better, probably the best position to hold both bomb sites. Additionally, uh, you can peek around this wall and hold both of the cocktail window and the balcony. And if you've broken open this particular bar right here, you can also hold default uh, plant spot from around the corner. Uh, you usually want to break up in those bars in general just to hold those default plant spots. So behind the main bar and behind that small one right there. Uh, if you break the bar, you can actually get shots onto the uh, attackers who are going to be planting down there. So since this is a top floor defense, you can't go vertically from above. You have to play vertically from down below. And reading room is going to be where most of the uh, vertical play is going to be occurring for this particular bomb site. Uh, so we'll go into reading room, take this external door, and go straight up from the mid midline all the way to the top until you hit that light. That light is the designator for the doorway up above. Uh, so if you go any farther left of that, you're actually going to just be shooting underneath the doorway. You're not going to be shooting that anchor's feet from behind this uh, particular wall. If you go any farther left of that center line of the door, you're actually going to be shooting on the other side of that wall, so you're not actually going to be doing anything effective. Uh, if you're bringing in ash, use this chandelier right here as your designator and shoot just to the left of it and they'll get right next to the wall. If you're using a buck, just use the center line go straight up. Alright, so the next anchor position you'll typically see uh, is back here in the back corner of the A bomb site. So if they're not holed up on the wall, they're actually going to usually be pushed back off into this corner. Uh, through the rotate holes, you can hold both the, the entry door from uh, Cigar, and if you pop out through the door, you can hold uh, the balcony side uh, rotates as well. Uh, you additionally can hold freezer if they manage to get in there, or if you pu triple punch this wall right here, uh, behind this, not wall, but this bar, you can actually see all the way over to white stairs. And due to the fact that the uh, bullet penetration dynamics work the way they do, bullets can't get through three panes of material, unless you're using a sniper rifle. So you're actually quite safe behind these bars unless they get a direct headshot on you through your bullet hole, which is relatively unlikely. So it's, it's really actually a powerful play if you want to do it that way. Uh, additionally, if you want to come downstairs and just break up right above this light, that's how you get rid of them. Uh, the anchor is pretty straightforward. It's pretty self-explanatory. Just use the corner as your re point of reference. All right, so the last possible anchor position you're going to be seeing up here on the bar cocktails defensive side is going to be in the back uh, the bar storage area or the freezer location and if you have a mirror they'll be possibly a hold up on that wall looking out into a uh, cigar in order to help hold that room and they'll be playing across this on the far back side because you don't want to expose yourself through the to the skylight through the door so they're going to be playing farther back in this room behind this hard wall right here in the little corner all the way over to freezer uh, so in order to get rid of them, what you'll need to do is, once again, come down to, uh, to reading because this is where all the vertical play really takes place for this room. Uh, and you'll break, use this chandelier and break the panel right next to it on the left side. Uh, that will give you entrance over into that little nook that they're going to be using for hardcover. So if they have no hardcover there, they're going to be more exposed to your shots coming from Cigar. So that's where you're going to need to break the floor in order to get actual shots on them. All right, so this next little trick is obviously not going to be vertical play. Um, it is a nice little trick for an attacker to know about or defenders to be aware of. Uh, so if you can't push into Cigar over here because there's a Mira or they have a Rotate or they're just holding the white uh, stairs doorway, uh, what you can do is you can come over here to this little Cigar shop uh, area and break the leftmost panel. Uh, if you can break that panel, you can get an angle, as you can see here, through the marble slats all the way into the back corner of Freezer. Uh, so if there's an echo plane there behind a deployable shield, or if there's a mirror holding a mirror window and just moving left and right back and forth across Freezer, you can actually get a pick here without them really knowing that you're holding an angle on them. Uh, so it makes it pretty a pretty strong angle to hold. Uh, as you can see, if you come all the way back here, you can see the bullet hole in the back of Freezer. Uh, but if you're here, sitting behind your deployable shield, you can't really contest this angle as a defender because let's say if you break that uh, that piece of glass there, 
you can't really tell that there's somebody back there or even a hole back there that somebody might be holding uh, due to the fact that how the marble works, uh, the coloring works on itself. It's really difficult to contest. All right, so next bomb site up is the mining dining bomb sites. Uh, this is probably more popular than the reading dining bomb site, in my opinion. All right, so with these two bomb sites, you don't actually ever really see anyone anchoring in the bomb sites themselves due to the fact that they've got external windows. Um, so you'll usually see people anchoring over here in the train museum, which is between the two bomb sites. Uh, if you're in this position where I'm showing you right now with the deployable shield, uh, you can hold all the doors, they rotate over into a mining, fireplace, and if you break another rotate here, you can hold a dining door. So you can pretty much hold all locations, uh, entrance locations in the bomb site from just this single position. In order to get rid of this strong anchor position, what you need to do is you'll come upstairs, just uh, cigar, and you'll use these little to these two chairs and the table as your reference points. You'll break the floor around these chairs, and you'll be able to get uh, angles down into a uh, train museum that are really hard to contest from the defender's point of view. Uh, as you can see, you're holding a tight angle against the chairs and the table. So if an, a defender is trying to pinpoint a shot back at you, you have the, the easy means of just going left or right and using the chairs or the table as cover, and they don't really have that kind of option. Uh, additionally, if they have a mirror window down here on the wall because she wasn't banned, you'll be able to pop it from this location. So that makes it probably one of the, the second best uh, vertical location for this bomb site. All right, so the last anchor position you'll typically see for these two bomb sites um, is this little train car anchor position uh, since you don't need a deployable shield because the train car is already metallic. From here, you can hold that rotate over into, uh, into mining. You can hold fireplace, you can hold through your rotate hole into fireplace doorway. Um, the only difference is you can't actually really hold the, uh, the mining doorways from this position. That's why the other anchor position is actually a little bit better. Uh, but in order to get rid of this particular anchor location, what you need to do is once again, come up into cigar. I recommend sledge or buck for these uh, because you need to do a lot of reconstruction. And use this piece of carpet right here as your, your reference point. So on this near side of the carpet, Use it as a line, so just use your sledgehammer and break all the way across Cigar. Uh, you can stop at the chairs or you can keep going if you really want to open up the bomb site. Uh, I usually don't because I don't want them to fire too many hole don't have, want them to have too many angles to fire back at me as an attacker. But if you need to, you feel free to be able to do it. You can see more of the bomb site that way, but it's kind of unnecessary. Uh, you can see all the way back into the train car so you can get anyone playing there. You can get the doorway in between sites. You can get the rotate hole to the left. Uh, and you can see all the way over into the east corner. So if somebody's just prone there or somebody's over by the fireplace, you can see them. You can really pretty much see any location from this whole line. But you have to remember what the, you can see, the defenders can also see back at you. So you have to be aware of how much you're actually breaking. All right, so we are moving on to our last bomb sites for this uh, map. And that will be the reading, dining, bomb sites. All right, so there are only really two anchor positions for the reading bomb site. One's this little pocket area here behind the bookshelf. Uh, what defenders will commonly do is punch a hole in this bookshelf here. Because of how the bullet dynamics work, like explained earlier, you won't be able to actually get body shots through it because it's three panels thick. So you'll need to land a headshot through a punch hole, which is kind of difficult, especially on console. Uh, if they're not behind the bookshelf, they'll be standing up behind it or have a deployable shield here at the end, which makes it a little bit more difficult if you don't have something like a grenade, Sophia or Ash charge, get rid of that deployable shield. So what you'll need to do is you'll come upstairs and you'll take this first and second bar, break the ground in between the two red carpets. Uh, and this will give you angles down onto the, the anchor position itself. Additionally, what I want you to do is go to this over to the left side the, between the hard wall and the soft wall, break the ground there. And I'll explain why in a couple of seconds. So this particular angle, you can get a slight angle into the anchor position itself. You can't view it fully, but what's more important is you can see anyone over by the reading room doorway. Uh, so if there is somebody down here with a shotgun sitting on that lamp right there prone, which is pretty common, uh, you'll be able to get angles onto them, get take them out. Additionally, late game, if you plant default over there by reading, you can get angles on anyone trying to defuse it, which makes this a pretty powerful position to hold. All right, everybody. So for the last anchor position for reading room is going to be over on the west side of reading next to this tipped over bookshelf. 
So this position is pretty strong for the defense, especially if there's a mirror window on this wall looking over into uh, dining room. If there is no mirror window because she was banned, they'll either use rotate holes or shotgun holes to open lines of sight over into dining, since it is a lot safer to hold dining from reading itself than it is to anchoring dining. Additionally, you can look over the top of white stairs here as a defender with a hard wall on your right and the couch on your left, which makes it a lot safer for you to expose your body to the uh, attackers pushing up white stairs. Alright, so in order to get rid of these, these uh, anchors hiding behind this bookshelf, you'll need to come upstairs to freezer. Break the floor in between these two pillars of freezer, and you can get uh, line side all the way back into the back side of uh, reading, so you can get rid of any anchor there. You can pop whatever mirror windows on that wall, and you can also see the doorway of reading to a 90 degree hall. The reason I say you should break the wall in freezer, not bar, is because while you get the same angles from bar, it's a lot more uh, open to any flankers that are coming up red, red or white stairs. While in freezer, you have the soft walls and the hard walls as cover to protect you from those flankers. All right, guys, so I am looking at this video and I realize it went way longer than I meant for it to. So hopefully you stuck around with me till the very end and learned something helpful to help you get some easy kills on your next ranked game. And like always, if you enjoyed the video, please drop a comment down below, like, and subscribe to my channel for more content that I can push out your way soon. Thank you, everybody. Shields up. I'm out.